Yeah, super excited. Uh, it's great to be back, uh, almost starting the season again. Uh, we had a very long off season, even if it's only one week, it feels uh, too long since we've been back to work and back at the track. So uh, we had an amazing year in 2023. Uh, we have uh, a new partner, as you can see on the colors, which is great to have DHL on board. And hopefully we can bring uh, another championship to the team, uh, fight for every single race as we did uh, the past year, and just we're going to try and have some fun. Yeah, nowadays we don't get as many test days as we would like. Um, we would always want to have a lot of test days, but honestly, it's super important when we are uh, only one week and a half out of St. Pete. Uh, we want to go through a lot of the engineering list that we've been thinking about uh, all of season. We won't have enough time, uh, but uh, it's a way to get the rest of uh, the drivers, uh, just all the crew, all the team together and try and get some ideas for St. Pete. It's great to be back. Um, just, you know, this is always like the first day of school. We said it last year, and it's what it feels like, everyone coming back together. Uh, I feel excited, you know. Um, it's, it's a long off season to think about things and, you know, try and prepare to be better. And there's a lot of areas I think we, we fell short last year, even though it was a tremendous season. You know, I think winning the Indy 500 was, was by far the highlight. It makes it a great year. But we want to have a more complete season in 2024, and, and so we're all very focused on that and excited to be here with the, the two crew and ready to get going soon. Yeah, St. Pete for me is always, it's a place you want to get on the board. You know, you just want to put some points up there. It doesn't have to be a win situation, but, you know, I think showing up, having good performance, giving everybody confidence, you know, a top 10 is, is really nice to have. A top five is even better. Of course, if we can get a win, we're going to try and take it. But I think just putting points on the board is really critical to start the year and, um, you know, getting that cadence going. I mean, it's, there's so much ebb and flow to a season. I mean, it can, it can change really quick, as everybody knows, in IndyCar. So just trying to get that consistency started early is, is really critical. I don't think the cars are going to be crazy different, but they're slightly lighter. You know, lap times will, will probably reflect that just marginally. I mean, don't expect a huge jump, but, you know, there's going to be a little bit of performance there. And then I think for everybody, we're preparing for sort of the season of two halves. You know, you're going to start the year in one form, and then it's about, you know, how do we adapt to the hybrid change? And I think that's front of mind for everybody. You know, we've got to be strong in the beginning of the season and we've got to be strong through the adaptation with the hybrid system. And that's, you know, that's the challenge in, in motorsports. You're always getting thrown new obstacles and that's going to be the big one this year. So excited to tackle that. I think we've got the opportunity to, to make the most of it. And um, it's going to be exciting. You know, things will change and, and we'll see how everybody reacts. Uh, yeah, it's super important. I mean, we, we sit a lot of the off season not able to do much. So this is uh, a big warm up. This is the first time that our car has been on track since uh, Laguna. So, I mean, really just working all the gremlins and uh, getting everyone up to speed, whether we have new engineers or new pit crew or, or what it might be. I mean, that's really what this test is about. It's just getting the rust off and, and getting ready for St. Pete so we don't have any of these gremlins and we can roll out and practice at St. Pete and just go fast. I think for us at, at Andretti, uh, last year St. Pete didn't go very well. Uh, we were pretty much four cars out, essentially. I mean, I finished a few laps down in 15th, um, and I was the best finishing car for Andretti. And that shouldn't really be the case for us on street courses. So um, it kind of sets the mood for the year, and we want to start off on the right foot and, and kind of redeem ourselves from last year, because we were at one point running one, two, three, and we finished 15th, 22nd, 26th, and 20 whatever it was so <laughs> uh, so yeah we're, we're, we're ready for the season we're, we're ready to go and it, it's always good to be at this place because this is kind of the warm-up for everything yeah I mean the, the, I kind of consider this place my home track this is the closest circuit to me um, now the, the closest circuit before was Palm Beach International Raceway that is recently shut down so this is now technically my home track so um, it's a quick drive for me I get to 
come over on setup day, an hour and a half drive, wake up, eat breakfast, hang out for a little bit, then, then drive over. Um, and then at the end of the day, I drive home and go sleep in my bed. So it's, uh, it's fairly convenient for me.